Hi, I'm Zachary Widener from Vanguard TV. Here at Lebanon Trail, there's a wide variety of electives for students to choose from. Let's go to Jake Steele to hear about computer science. Java is one of the many programming languages that is used in the workforce today. Luckily, anyone is able to learn the language with our LTHS course. Computer science teaches students to solve problems and prepare for coding as a career. Um, I really wanted to learn about uh, programming because a lot of my friends know about it. Because I'm interested in learning more on how to code, I've been taking, I've been like learning how to program for about two years now, and I just wanted to get better at it, know more. Um, I needed my computer credit, and it was a hard class, and I wanted to challenge myself. The average salary for a Java developer is around $70,000. Later, programmers can make up to six-figure salaries. So we do different labs, which are just projects where they give us instructions, and they don't tell us at all how to do it. We have to do it ourselves, figure out uh, how to solve the problems from the tools we've been given. Um, some of the tests aren't like what you practice with the labs, so sometimes I feel like I come in unprepared. Uh, we do a lot of programming. Uh, we do labs, which, is, which includes a bunch of challenges for programming. It's a lot more like problem solving oriented than you might think. Like, um, they tell you how to do how to do these things, but they then give you instructions on how to. They tell you what your final product is, but they don't tell you at all how to do it. So you have to figure it out. My favorite part, which probably I'm not supposed to do, is after I'm done with everything, I go and try to make my own stuff. Try to do like make games or whatever that are advanced or more advanced than whatever everybody else is doing. Uh. Normally, you'll get a few normal questions, and then at the end of the lab, there's one big problem that you have to figure out, and that one always takes some time. Computer science is a prerequisite for AP computer science, and it leads to video game design and mobile application programming. I'm Jake Steele, reporting for Vanguard TV. Here at LT, one of the most popular electives among students is medical terminology. Let's go to Makaya Wright to hear more about med term classes. Hey Trailblazers, it's Makai right here with Vanguard TV. Medical terminology is an elective open to any students here at LTHS. Medical terminology is a class where you learn how uh, medical terms are created. So you learn prefixes, suffixes, and word parts. And you also learn diseases and anatomy and physiology. Well, most of the time we're watching PowerPoints or doing uh, workbook pages about certain units such as the respiratory system, sexual senses, like we're trying to define diagrams or or doing review games. It's pretty fun. My favorite part about medical terminology is that we get to learn new things every day about like things we wouldn't know regularly about being a doctor and the human anatomy. My favorite part about med term is studying with my friends and just having fun. Students love Dr. Chong because of the tireless commitment he puts into all his students and the fun he brings to such a difficult class. Uh, I started off uh, as a chiropractor, then I went to medical school in the Caribbean in England, uh, then I got into acupuncture, and now I'm teaching. I like Dr. Chong because he's a really good teacher, um, he has a lot of experience, and he's really good at balancing what we learn in the class. I like Dr. Chong because he challenges me to like work harder and learn about more things and like memorize more things than I normally would. Well, you have to make sure that you want to go into the medical or health care field because a lot of people change their minds, so make sure you do it for the right reasons. If you have any questions about medical terminology, go see Dr. Chong in room A133. With Vanguard TV, this is Makai Wright. Digital Interactive Media, otherwise known as DIM, is an extremely popular class among students seeking to earn their technology credit in order to graduate. Let's go to Julian Canlas to hear the scoop on DIM. Good afternoon, Trailblazers. It's Julian Canlas with the Vanguard TV. Let's get into the digital world of graphics as we see what the class Digital Media has in store. Digital Media is a technology credit class here at LT that Miss Williams, the DECA and BIM teacher, teaches. 
Digital media is a course designed to educate students on the emerging digital world, as well as provide hands-on experiences with the industry standard softwares. I think digital media is an easy course to take, but like it depends on what you're learning. Sometimes it can be difficult. So um, I really enjoy digital media because we're able to um, produce our own creative ideas and work with other people while we do it. The knowledge and skills acquired will enable students to successfully design graphics, create basic 2D animations, introductory video and audio projects, as well as integrate it all together in a digital web portfolio. This course serves as a prerequisite for graphic design and illustration one. Students are expected to employ planning and time management skills to complete projects. This course may qualify as a technology applications credit. This class helps students express their creativity as they expand on learning how to use Adobe Photoshop, making videos, and learning how to edit them. As students progress into becoming more advanced in making projects in Photoshop, InDesign, and Adobe Premiere, the world of digital media expands with their creativity. With the Vanguard TV, this has been Julian Canlas. Thanks for watching. If you have any story or segment ideas, please visit our newly redesigned website, lthsvanguard.com. I'm Zachary Weiner from the Vanguard TV. Have a great day, Blazers.